it is time to take this apart. All right, this is pretty simple. I would not be too scared. Just uh, pay attention as much as you can. I'll tell you where you might be able to watch out before you make uh, any mistakes ahead of time. This is pretty simple. You're only gonna need a few tools. I got a 12 millimeter wrench, eight millimeter wrench, end sockets, straight pick, and maybe a, a hammer or two, a rubber hammer. This is gonna be uh, pretty simple. I'm gonna try to do this all with one hand, so uh, here we go. Might as well uh, take this uh, shifter off first. I got an eight millimeter holding mine on. You're probably gonna have to take the whole screw out because it fits in such a groove on this spindle here that you're not gonna be able to slide this uh, off without it coming off completely. pretty easy. It's always good to put that same screw right back in. That helps out a lot. All right, Let's get to the next part. All right, let's take off our reeds first. Let me get a nice bin here. Now I could use a bin or a magnetic tray. I know I said I was gonna use the bin for this whole build, but just because I'm gonna put this back together right away. I'm gonna use a magnetic tray. I have a few right over there. Check it out. All right, ready to go. Start with the back one first. All right. I have a 10 millimeter holding on my reeds. I'm gonna take off first. Spin it like that. All right. If you like, take off the thing as an assembly, leave the bolts there, and place it right in your bin. It's always a great thing to do. You know exactly where it goes. Now the assembly part can be that much quicker. Okay. Now let's take off our cover for our exhaust valve here. Oh, I forgot we need a Phillips head for this one. We're gonna need to take off these five eight millimeters. Let me change to an eight millimeter. take this off a good idea to uh, grab this gasket down here pull it out right away and save it you don't want to lose that that will make uh, that will pretty much spoil putting the spike back together if you lose that and I have ordered a new one and found the new one and found the old one probably when the new one arrived but right there keep the old gasket just in case now the reason why we want to take that cover off is because we need to access the bolt to take off this head and to take off this arm. We need to take off this cotter pin, which you want to say because it is a very special cotter pin. Let's remove some of these hoses. We're going to remove just one of these hoses because we're going to take off this, this right side cover as, in this, as a whole piece. So it's going to stay on with both these hoses. So maybe it might bother you. You could take off both of them if you want, but I'm probably just going to take off 
just this one that's connected to the head. Got my flathead. I really want to take off these. It's going to be kind of difficult with one hand. I'm sure they're on it pretty tight. They're all 12 millimeter. They should be 12 millimeter. All right. Pretty tight. That would help so much to have a close end. You know, it's 2020 and nobody wants to use these things, but it's always good to have them. In a case like this, you're not going to strip these nuts, which are the last ones you want to strip on almost the entire bike. So I highly recommend, if you got that in your collection, to get it in the collection. Now you got one under here, which is always a pain in the ass, which where this comes really handy to make sure you don't strip it. I'm going to go on the other side of the bike. I mean, on motor because I need to clinch it. Try to do this one hand. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, consider subscribing by hitting the link down below. Loose. Tight. Probably just take it out of your hand. Now you're gonna wanna save this because if you lose this, it's gonna ruin your day again too. You will have to order one. It's probably about two or three dollars and trust me, you don't wanna spend that much money on this little counter pin that you could have just saved because it is that special. Maybe one day they will not make them anymore. Oh. That's right. I have two of these just in case. I've lost that before. All right, now you can pull this arm back a little bit. When you install this arm, it's probably going to install in this direction. The reason why is because when you hit this bike, it's cool. this lever is going to want to go all the way down to expand these all the way out, goes all the way back to push them back in. They'll fully open these exhaust valves. All right. Taking this bolt out. By the way, there is a little tiny, what do you want to call this? Collar washer that just fell off and got stuck to the mag magnet right away. That you might want to grab before it falls off and then you can't find it. I have two of them just in case. Literally lost two parts in the same area once upon a time. Right there next to look at that. It's a beautiful pair. I'm gonna look at that and be like, wow, that's how I organize things. All right. You see the piston right there and you have the spark plug on most likely this is not just gonna lift off so we're gonna take the spark plug out probably just make it a little bit easier it might come out but uh just take it off to make it a little bit easier Comes out just fine with the spark plug on top. Little wiggle and jiggle. I 
right, beautiful. Take this and put it in a safe place. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I highly recommend taking this piston out as soon as possible so you avoid having any damaging piston along the way while you're working on this. You need to use a pick to pick this ring out right here. It comes out very easy. You just pull back, and grab it. Try not to drop it in there. If it's okay, leave it, grab a magnet or whatever you have to pull it out. All right. Right there. I'm gonna leave the other one in so I don't lose it. I'm gonna push this pin back the other way. Give a little tap. Push this pin back in so I don't lose it. To be honest, I don't want to get it mixed up with another one too. It's bearing out. So now the whole time while you're working on it, you're not going to damage anything really. All right, we'll take off this gasket. Yeah, no good. How you do it? Probably have the engine set right here. Let's see if our magneto pops right off. The last time I did this, mine popped right off. I've done. The... Well, I've done this before, to where I had to take a a polar and pull it off. I've damaged this before. It's always good to get yourself one. I have one from Tusk. But for some reason, it doesn't fit this. Let's see, it might come right out. All right, look at that. Hey, in the past, I have had this pin right here that helps hold this on fall out. So just make sure it doesn't fall out on you. It might just not. It didn't fall out on me now, and it hasn't fallen out on me the last time I did this. Okay. Let's remove this. I have a few 10 millimeter bolts holding this on. Okay. A few 10 millimeter bolts here. One, two, that is it, I thought there was three for some reason. Just holding on a lot tighter than All right, 
give it a little tap for the hands. Actually, I think a lady finger will fit in there good. Alright, it's coming out pretty easy. Best way is to pry from the back of the case. You don't want to pry in the edge, you don't want to crack it. Okay, you can come out. It is not necessary to move these Phillips heads like me. Let me move that out of the way so I wouldn't damage it just in case I had to get a little rough. Okay. Now this. Just slide right out. Okay. Comes with the washer. Slide the washer right back in there. Okay, now we move to this side. Let's take up a few eight millimeter bolts. This is very simple right here. Just taking all my bolt from my Kickstarter that I put back on there. And I know those goes back with the engine bolt kit. Alright. Can pop this thing off. You don't have to be afraid of anything falling off. Huh. Except a few small things. washer. Should I, uh, I'm not too sure where that came from, which is a good reason why we pulled this apart. Maybe it's washer came right up in there. Alright. Now put this First things first, we have to pull the clutch basket off. This is very simple. Highly recommended to loosen these evenly. Consider subscribing by clicking the link down below. Okay, I'm going to take these all off. I have a place to put these. I'm going to let them sit in transmission oil. You don't have to. Or just keep them really clean. You can put them in a plastic bag. You want to keep them clean. They're very important. Okay, we're going to pull this out. Careful. There's a ball in there. It can fall out. It may not come out now, but it could come out later. I want to grab a magnet, pull this out. Okay. We're going to need a big sock to pull out. I believe it's an inch. 
and uh, 116. So let me check and I will confirm. All right, it is an inch and one sixteenth. Take off this clutch nut for the 98 CR125 motor. All right, let's see if we can do this without grabbing our clutch tool. We'll hold the clutch basket. Whack. Good things about torque. Okay, might be a good time to start ordering that washer that they want you to replace. Or you can use it, just chisel it in, flip it over. Okay, move this. There's a washer on the other side. Very important. It's gonna keep all this clutch stuff together. Got yeah, one more thing it's gonna come out with. This, this bearing right here, this needle bearing. It could slide in and out of with this piece. So make sure you got both and everything. And put them in one spot. Make that assembly part much easier. Okay, we have three more gears to remove here. Our um, Kickstarter shaft, which is going to just slide right out. A little tap for the hammer. And... All right. Pay attention to the washer. You don't want to lose the washer. All right. This gear will freely come right out. So you could just pull it. It's okay. You can't really get this mixed up or messed up. So put it right to the side. All right. We need to pull off this spring, which is pretty simple. Grab yourself a pick. Or the need a nose pliers. Grab it and pull it out. I'll explain in one second. Grab it, pull it back. Let it wind back a little bit. Okay, now you can jiggle it and pull your Kickstarter assembly out. Let me tell you something interesting about this though. Try to keep this as best together as you can because there is a way to set this, which in reassembly will make sure we definitely do. Right, we got our one gear for our, that goes into our crankshaft, which I believe is a 14 mil. Right, it's a 14 millimeter. Take off this bolt for the gear on the crankshaft. You can hold this if you want, you may not want to. Oh, that one's on there tight. All right, comes with a nice washer with it. Pull off the gear. All right. So it has a nice uh, washer that comes behind it. If you want, put this all in the bin together. So you have all this and you put it back for assembly for the crankshaft. Okay, we're about to get to a part where this is a possibility you can lose a very small piece and I'll show you exactly what it is.
Now, for there, there's a ratchet pause assembly, which when you use the shifter, it shifts up and down, so it acts as a ratchet mechanism. And there's springs up in here that can get lost and fly out as you take this thing out. There's even this collar washer can come out and you could lose it. We're gonna keep all this as an assembly. Explain this in a minute. All right, so you take your 10 millimeters. Move some of this out of the way. Take all three 10 millimeters out. Now this is where you remove your ratchet pause assembly. I'll show you where you could be trouble. Okay, now I removed this piece together. If it came apart, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, you basically have two springs and two bullet shaped caps that go on the spring and these little metal pieces that go with the mechanism that is called the ratchet pause assembly that is possible to get lost. So make sure you don't lose it or even this piece that comes off of it. You can keep all this together. Make sure you got it all before you put it in the bin. Otherwise, stop. Find all the pieces. Otherwise, just start ordering what you already lost. Okay. Looks like we're about to start splitting this case. I'm going to leave this on because this is going to hold our whole gear mechanism so we can be able to see what our problem is when we take this off. So when I split it off, all the gears are going to remain intact and we're going to see where the problem is. It's going to be really exciting. Now when you have all those pieces out, pretty much the rest of this case it's held on by the eight millimeters on the other side. This is very simple here. Voila. All right, now we got all our bolts. It's very good to put these in one spot. It will help the reassembly process so much better because then you don't get it mixed with the other look-alike bolts from the other side. Since I already split this case before, it's probably gonna split apart much easier now. Okay. I already see it's starting to split on one end. What I'm gonna do is take a rubber mallet, tap up lightly on the other end, because I know it's coming up on this end. Nice coming up all right I'm gonna use a plastic tool you help me with the very little bit of the way I'm using the plastic tool because it will damage my tool before it damages the case
right. We're out. Time to see the damage. <laughs>